Second City made this excellent parody video of Paul Ryan uh, working out and of course it's basically talking about those Time Magazine pictures where he's like, you know, I don't know if you heard, but he did over a thousand. Uh, oh, and, God. And they're basically making fun of some of his uh, economic ideas. Let's take a look. Let's work out. Behind the scenes at the Paul Ryan photo shoot <laughs> from Time. You know, I respect the president. He's the first president who's black. I could be the first president who's bro. Yeah, I don't really do P90X. I do like P1000X. I'm, I'm really good at math, so I get extra numbers when I do stuff. I love oh, that God. video. Um, the rest of it is also very, very funny, so I encourage you guys to check it out. Um, I just think it's great because the timing of these pictures couldn't be better, mm -hmm. right? Right before the vice presidential debate, he looks... How did he think that was a good idea? Well, the ones that people are really mocking are like the outtake ones, uh -huh. which I, I feel kind of bad a little bit making fun of him for that because like what if they did it with Biden and then they were like they do all the serious ones and they were like okay just have a little bit of fun and then they release them and uh, Drudge yeah. Report makes fun of him. Yeah. I feel a little bit bad about that but he does Not look ridiculous. Not only would Drudge Report make fun of them. We would too. We would make yeah, fun of true. them to be that's fair. Um, the hat was going way too, he should have never allowed his hat to turn around like that. He is way too old and way too a politician to have his hat turn around like that. Um, but what I think about is really interesting about this photo shoot and every time I hear him talk like during the debate is I think that Paul Ryan is a good example of how like one event going a little bit differently in his childhood could have ended up with him being a very different person. Like I I feel like I could like Paul Ryan in a perfect world. Like what? he seems like he could be an intelligent guy, he could be a likable guy, but I think that he taught himself early on or he, he told himself early on, you know, if I just ride this conservative thing out, I'll do pretty well. I, I don't believe really any of it. I believe his economic policies a little being, bit. You don't think he's being genuine no, in not his at all. ideology? I, I've said on the common room before that I'm like 99% sure he's an atheist. I think he's lying about the whole Christianity thing. Where do you... Uh, he never strikes me as a religious person. I love the wishful thinking. No, it's I not mean, wishful. He's an, he was into Ayn Rand that like so much when he was young. Mm -hmm. That screams atheist to me. Uh, when he talks about religion, I don't feel like he... he He's not, his, his soul isn't into it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, I think that he's either an atheist or he doesn't care at all about Christianity. He, he's technically a Christian. What do you think? I, I, I didn't get that sense, but is it possible that a politician uses the whole Christianity angle to appeal to voters? Of course. Like, that's, that's I, I feel like the majority of politicians do that. I mm. hate when there's a debate and somehow in the debate they have to put this whole religious angle into something that they're saying, right? So, of course, it comes up when they talk about social issues, but somehow they include their faith in their answers, and I don't care about their faith. Yeah. I, I wish that voters didn't focus so much on irrelevant things like that. I mean, when you live in a country that is supposed to emphasize the separation of uh, church and state, we don't live in a country like that. In this country, the only politicians or only, only candidates that get taken seriously are those who are Christian, who are open about being Christian. I mean, Mitt Romney did get demonized a little bit because of the fact that he's Mormon. Not as but much like, as I would have expected. Right, I, I, which was surprising, right? But the fact that he is a conservative, that he believes in you know, Jesus Christ, all of that stuff, for some reason, people uh, like swarm to those politicians, and I hate that. Can you imagine an atheist politician running for president? Yeah, well, someday, hopefully. Someday, I think it'll um, happen, of course, but not anytime soon. I'm not, I'm not ready to label Mitt Romney an atheist, but I do think that he's faking most of the religion too. It's, it's a little bit harder because he's a Mormon, so it's a big cultural thing and all that. But I, I think that he's mostly faking. I think that that he's in it for the money too. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting ticket for such an incredibly, extremely religious party mm -hmm. to put up two people that never really seem to, to I don't know, talk about that sort of thing honestly or. Not the same way as, as when some other people, like George Bush, I feel he fully believes it. A lot of times, yeah, okay, you guys will root for a person that is openly an atheist to maybe run for a higher office and then everyone knows about it and maybe actually no one cares or gets, he gets elected despite that or because of it. Isn't that about the same issue? I would hope that we don't give a shit, that we go, oh, I don't know what his religion is. I don't know if he believes in God because nothing he should do should be based on his belief or lack there of a belief in God. So his policies shouldn't go against people who do believe in God, just like these people who do believe in God shouldn't make policies against people who don't or actually don't make it change what they do in their own lives. It really shouldn't matter. So if we go the other way, we have the same problem we have now.